Hey Aquarius, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're doing a general love reading. Only take the parts that resonate with you if they do, okay? All right, so we're going to jump in and get straight to the point. We're going to start with you first and then we'll get to this person. You got the Five of Pentacles that flew out, the Ace of Pentacles along with the Hierophant. I feel like some of you, because there's different groups here, you don't really have much faith in this particular person anymore, okay? I feel like this is someone who may have sabotaged this connection or they were just doing the bare minimum and some of you just don't have time for it, you know? So I feel like you're not going to keep uh, sticking around waiting for things to get better or improve with this person. You're moving forward with your life, okay? With that Ace of Pentacles, that speaks about a new opportunity, maybe a new job for some of you. Maybe you want to focus on your money, yourself, your finances here. Or maybe somebody you can actually take serious, unlike this one over here, and we'll get to them in a second, okay? So anyway, I feel like some of you, because the higher fin does speak about commitment, some of you, maybe that's actually what you want, but whoever this was, you felt like that it, it just wasn't going to happen with them, okay? So I feel like you're detaching from this. Some of you um, could have been married to them, or maybe this is a connection that you wanted to, to lead to a higher level of commitment at one point, or maybe there was somebody else, and maybe that's part of the reason why some of you are disconnecting from this, but whatever the case is, it looks like you're deciding to move on. Yeah, you got three of wands in the past, the temperance, the six of swords, and the six of cups. Some of you are still kind of sort of dealing with them, is what I'm picking up here, but for others of you... I feel like you ran out of patience here, okay? So I don't think you were putting your life on hold for this person, but maybe you did try to compromise or give them a chance, okay? Or kind of, you know, stick around to see what was going to change or, or happen here between the two of you. But I feel like you're deciding it's best to let it go, okay? With that Six of Swords, that speaks about releasing the past. And, you know, maybe some of you did have a connection with them with that Six of Cups, especially if you have a lot of history with this person. But obviously, you feel like it's not really working out or this person isn't worth your time, effort, or energy anymore. Some of you may have a child with them, okay, with that Six of Cups. Now, they've got the Ten of Cups that flew out along with the Queen of Wands, okay? Some of you have a person that actually does want a long-term relationship or maybe a new person will be coming in soon, okay, if you're open to dating or, you know, connecting with new people. But the Ten of Cups does speak about a long-term relationship, okay? Highly attracted to you, too, with that Queen of Wands. But, yeah, I feel like some of you, there's a person that actually does want to take you serious. Or it could be this one here who has been sabotaging this connection. It's like they do, um, they see you in a positive light, but I feel like it's something very on and off about this person or inconsistent with how they show up in this connection, especially with them having this Page of Wands in the past, Seven of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Two of Swords, okay? So Page of Wands speaks about communication. Some of you have heard from them. Or maybe this is someone that you haven't been talking to, but they still have some sort of desire or attraction for you. Okay, I don't know if that means anything to you or not at this point, but it seems like this person tends to act kind of defensive or guarded or like they don't want to be, um, they don't want to show too much vulnerability here, okay, with that two of swords. Or you may have felt like they had issues with communicating properly or um, taking accountability too is also what I'm saying. Okay, this could be someone who may have pushed you away as well with that seven of wands or Maybe they feel like you're guarded towards some, or some of you, because it's different storylines here, they couldn't make up their mind. One minute they want to put effort into this, the next minute they're pulling away, then they want to come back towards you, then they're pulling away again, you know, and some of you, you just don't have time for this bullshit, okay, Aquarius, you got the four of pentacles in the current position, along with the world card, the nine of pentacles, and the high priestess. The Four of Pentacles is you being distant, not wanting to make yourself open to this person, or maybe you don't want to talk to them, maybe you feel like they don't deserve you, you know, or you don't want to waste your time here. So some of you could also be trying to focus on improving your finances or saving your money, watching your spending habits, okay? But yeah, I feel like when it comes to them, this chapter may have closed out. Yeah, with the World Card, you may feel like it's no point in talking to this person anymore, okay? With the Nine of Pentacles, and you also have the High Priestess here. Yeah, so Nine of Pentacles is singlehood. You're focusing on yourself and your money and and things like that and I feel like with the uh, high priestess because that does speak about intuition some of you start to see right through them okay or you may have felt like something was off you saw too many red flags okay and it turned you off here so they've got the star in their current position which is you that's your card okay some of you this could be another Aquarius maybe a Taurus um who else is here I don't know it could be anyone but they got the star six of cups seven of swords and the hierophant Okay, so I feel like this person is very um, wishy-washy, or again, they keep sabotaging the situation for no reason, when all they got to do is be real with you and consistent with their communication. Either you want the connection or you don't. Shit, don't, don't keep wasting my time. You know, so I feel like some of you, you're not playing with this person anymore. But anyway, with the uh, Seven of Swords... Some of you, they're um, they're married. Yeah, they're with somebody else or they may have went back to an ex here, okay? But even if they are dealing with somebody else, I feel like they do still have moments where they miss you. There's some nostalgia here 
or maybe they still have some sort of faith in this connection, okay, that you guys can move forward, but I feel like you can't trust them here, okay, with this uh, Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. Now, you've got the uh, King of Swords in the near future, Four of Wands, the Magician, and the Queen of Swords. Some of you still feel somewhat of a connection to them. Maybe there's still some attraction here. Maybe you had some good times with this person, and some of you may still want something to manifest, but... I feel like you're still going to use your logical mind, okay, and your intuition when it comes to dealing with this person. You're not going to just wear your heart on your sleeve here or be a damn fool for them, okay, with the Queen of Swords and that King of Swords. So some of you may actually decide to cut them off is actually, is actually what I'm seeing as well. Or you might just pull your energy back or become um, very distant with them. I don't know if it's necessarily cold, but I feel like you're kind of detaching from this, okay, or you already have. Now they've got the uh, full card in the near future. Could be an Aries for some of you. The Four of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Hangman. Could be a Pisces. Some of you, they want a new beginning. That speaks about a new start, a reset, okay? Second chance in this connection. Some of you, they don't want to let you go, okay, with that Four of Pentacles. But you may feel like, well, shit, why aren't you acting right then? You know, you want to hold on to me, but you don't want to show up in this connection the right way. You may feel like they uh, do the bare minimum or they breadcrumb you. But others of you, I feel like this is someone who's... um. This is someone who's starting to realize, okay, with that hate man that they do have love for you. Okay, there's some sort of feelings here with this uh, King of Cups. But I also feel like they have a lot of pride, okay, too much pride to admit this with the uh, Four of Pentacles. They're holding their feelings back. Yeah, so I feel like the connection may be, um, it may become a bit stagnant or it already has been. And that's what's making you feel like you don't want to keep doing this or wasting your time with them, okay? All right, so that's what came out. If any of this applied, feel free to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Wish you the best. Take care.